profit. It's the pot of gold every entrepreneur envisions. But as a term in economics, profit has three very different, very specific, possibly unfamiliar meanings. To define profit, we went to one of the nation's top business schools, a hothouse for entrepreneurs hoping to launch their own highly profitable firms. Putting it all together then, you can see our projected financials for the next five years. Uh, Babson College runs a famous annual contest where students compete for prize money to help them start actual companies. The judges, real-world executives who rate the profit potential of, in this case, a new firm to make golf clubs whose advisors are linked to old golf heroes. He was previously the president of Ben Hogan Company. He actually designed the world-renowned Hogan Irons with Ben himself and has the experience needed to run a successful golf company. Very well. Thank you. Your entrees are now arriving. But we're going to focus on the profit potential of Kismet, a restaurant alternative for dating couples. Enjoy. Bon appetit. As Kismet's homemade video tried to illustrate to the judges, couples are often hustled through what they hope will be a romantic meal. Enjoy. Here is your check for the evening. Such restaurants may be profitable at first, but not if they eventually drive away customers. Well, you are still here. We are closed now. You leave now. <laughs> That's not going to happen. We're going to go to Kismet. Kismet, the name of an Arabian love story, is designed to be a cozier experience, a restaurant setting in which couples collaborate to make their own custom desserts. A little chocolate, a strawberry. In a little alternative, very private atmosphere with a little live music, you get what we call the Kismet experience. Romance aside, these contestants would seem to be textbook examples of economic men and women, trying to convince the judges they'll make a healthy profit on the various items Kismet offers. Tenberry smoothie or his and her yin yang pies. Humor to sell the judges. Profits, however, are no laughing matter. But what exactly does profit mean in economics? That's what we're about to show you. What most of us call profit is known in economics as accounting profit. This is simply all revenue minus all explicit costs, like wages, raw materials, and so on. Subtract costs from revenue, and you've got accounting profit. So say Kismet has revenue of $301,000 in the first year, has explicit costs of $300,000, the bottom line would be $1,000 in accounting profit. But this is only one definition of profit. Accounting profit just highlights explicit costs, which, of course, you want to keep as low as possible. So that will really you know, help us in, in keeping our profits higher. But what about the implicit costs of starting Kismet? Like the time these folks have put in, planning, and now pitching their so-called eatertainment concept. And this whole trend of eatertainment is really big now. Um, there are a lot of restaurants that they concentrate on providing a full experience for customers. The point is, the time and talent they're not getting paid for isn't an explicit cost, it's an implicit cost. So is the return on investment in Kismet. At the very least, investors are foregoing the interest they'd earn at the bank, so that's an implicit cost as well. And where's the Kismet crew headquartered? An extra room in one of their apartments? They could be renting that room to a friend instead. So even a part of their rent can be considered an implicit cost. To picture this, remember that an accounting profit only refers to explicit costs. If your revenue just covers them, you break even. If it more than covers them by even the slightest amount, you've got an accounting profit. But there's a whole other type of profit, and it refers to implicit costs. If your revenue covers your implicit costs, such as the normal return you'd expect on your time and money, you've made a normal profit. The connection between the two kinds of profit should be pretty clear. If you've made a normal profit, that means your accounting profit is large enough to cover your implicit costs, and it's only an accounting profit because your revenue already covers the explicit ones. As it turns out, however, says University of Texas economist Dan Hammermesh, it often doesn't. Accounting profits, as I tell people, are basically what you see in an income statement from a company. It's all the revenue minus all the costs they pay out. Now, it might be the case that they're making $1,000 of accounting profit, 
but they aren't accounting for the fact that the stockholders are getting no money back on their investments. Because I sure would not want to have my money invested in the company, which isn't paying me back any return on my investment. Nor would the judges at Babson. And your plan says you're going to offer them a 30% commission. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how you're going to get somebody who's making 60 cents gross margin to take on your product at 30% gross margin. Um, well, that, that is based on an initial price point of $1.20. Because they are startups, most of the businesses represented here will be lucky to make any accounting profit and very lucky to do well enough to cover their implicit costs and make a normal profit. But what entrepreneurs like these are really hoping for is to strike it rich by making a third, even better type of profit, an economic profit, which is an accounting profit above and beyond the covering of all explicit and implicit costs. Economic profit is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So, according to our previous example, let's say Kismet has made a $1,000 accounting profit. But once we take into account implicit costs, let's say $10,000, the company is not making a normal profit at all, and the investors will probably choose to exit the industry and do something else with their money. But if revenue increases from, say, $301 to $310,000 with no extra expenses, the company will be making a normal profit and can stay in a competitive market. Any net revenue above $310,000, if all the other numbers stay the same, would be economic profit. And that's every entrepreneur's ultimate goal, a super normal rate of return. So one last time, here's the profit picture. Cover your explicit costs and you break even. Anything above that's an accounting profit. Make just enough to cover your implicit costs as well and you've got a normal profit. Make any more than that and you've got an economic profit. And that's what these new entrepreneurs are working towards and desperately hoping for.